Welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Reverend Nadine Sneeman and I'm going to show you how to use Zoom effectively in a church service. One thing you want to do immediately you log on is make sure that your sound button is up. Your little mute, which is the microphone on your computer on the bottom left hand corner, you need to either put it on or put it off depending on what you want. Next to that button is your camera uh, and that will give you the options of um, putting your camera on or if you see the, the red line through it then it means that it is off and it reverts to the picture if you have uploaded a profile picture. So whenever you get onto Zoom always check those two whether your sound is on and whether your camera is on and that's where you'll find those two. Then if you go to the top right hand corner you will see your options of how to set your screen. So if I put gallery view it will show everyone on the screen. If I then click on to speaker view then the main screen will be filled by the person who is speaking. Okay, so those are the basics, your sound, your video and how you want to set the screen. Then we go into when the church is sharing their screen. So either they're showing you a video clip or they have some words or PowerPoint on the screen. You can also set your screen accordingly. You can see at the moment I'm playing a hymn and so it's ideal to be able to actually see all the words on the screen. So you go to the top of your screen and you will see something that says view options. If you click down, it gives you a number of options. So if you want a 50%, so you just want the shared screen in the center of your computer, you can do that. If you want it to be 100%, the original size, you can do that or 150 if you want to see the words more clearly that does make it quite difficult to um, fit everything into the screen but if that's what you want or you can go up to 200 percent or 300 okay so we're going to go back to original size now if you look very carefully you can see the screen that is being shared but you can also see me and that is because I have set my screen um, to be a side-by-side -side view. Now, when you take it off, you can see the panel of all of the other participants in the Zoom service. Now, can you see that that is blocking our words? So that's not ideal. If we choose this option, we can then either take away all the other participants and just leave one, or we could click and actually get rid of all of the participants during that particular part of the service. If we do side by side view, which for me is preferable, is we can then see the full screen, none of the words are being um, blocked and also you can see the participants down the side and uh, that makes you feel like you're part of the service and there are other people with you but nothing is being blocked. The other option I'd really like to talk to you about today is if you go into view options and down into annotate, it brings up a bar for us on a computer where we have a number of options to draw on our um, screen share. So for example, we have Black Lives Matter and George Floyd. So I could press the format to choose a color and then go across to draw and choose the kind of thickness of the pen I want to draw with and then I could draw a heart. There we go. I could then do a text and place my cursor and write love and it would come up. So we can do a number of arrows pointing to things that are important Let's do one here. So Nadine Sneeman, myself, is pointing towards George Floyd. So that's what I want to show you today. Always make sure that your mute and your camera are working. They don't have a, a red line through them. Also choose whether you want gallery view 
or whether you want to just hear the speaker. When there's a screen share, you can go to view options, make sure that you set the screen exactly how you want it so that you can get most of what the leadership team are sharing with you. And then annotate is a really fun tool to use on Zoom during a service. Thank you and see you on Sunday.